In today's juicy video, I'm going to talk about Kanye songs that I personally think are very similar, have a very similar energy or vibe, and within Kanye's massive discography, I'm sure we can find some tracks that are eerily similar to each other. Champion and Touch the Sky both have this positive, uplifting vibe to it, very motivational but without being too ferocious or angry. And even in both tracks, Kanye brings up his upbringing and briefly mentions his parents, specifically his mom in Touch the Sky and his dad in Champion. But I guess the main similarity is that both tracks are just positive and inspirational. I swear to you, like these songs are so similar to me and I absolutely love them both. I guess the biggest similarity between Off The Grid and No More Parties in LA is that Kanye goes hard on the verses. Sure, what he's saying isn't technically the most proficient verse, but when it comes to the flow, the energy, the lyrics, how much it will hype you up, it's perfect. And of course, on both songs, you have arguably the top two features on any Kanye song period. I'm talking about 5 Year Foreign on Off The Grid and Kendrick Lamar on No More Parties. It's not my personal top two features, but definitely top 10. This one's a little bit hard to explain, but I'll try my best. My experience listening to Ghost Town and Come To Life is extremely similar. First of all, both songs are just beautiful. It's beautiful! Ye's singing rapping on both tracks is flawless in my opinion, but mostly it's the fact that both Ghost Town and Come To Life have this life-changing, cathartic feel to them because on the second half of these songs, you get this switch up that's so grand so emotional and just utterly mind-blowing. What can I say other than when you first hear these songs, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I genuinely disliked on-site and feedback when I first heard them because it was so off-putting how uh, harsh and disgusting that production was, but now I love it. They just have this magical quality to them that makes me want to listen to it over and over again. It does go really hard, even though it took me about a year to really appreciate and fall in love with these songs. This is a less obvious comparison, but Say You Will and uh, God Breathe are kind of like sister songs. Two completely different vibes. God Breathe is definitely more ferocious, while Say You Will is more somber and melancholy. However, both songs have this gorgeous extended outro that takes up about half the song. It's just like a nice companion piece, listening to Say You Will and then God Breathe. This one's very obvious, stronger, and power. Two very popular and motivational songs in Kanye's discography with extravagant and ambitious production. There are stories of both songs taking a long time to be produced, Kanye not having the right proper sounding drums on, on Stronger until he uh, collabed with uh, Timbaland, and the power taking 5,000 man hours to, uh, to be created. And uh, both tracks are about Kanye being so infatuated with himself that he has to put himself up on the highest pedestal he can imagine. <laughs> Hell of a Life and I'm In It are songs that indulge in Kanye's sexual fantasies and desires. Also, this production feels very monumental, it feels very nasty, it's hard hitting and unpleasant, especially I'm In It, but that's what makes it so unique and interesting. Very explicit and obscene content matter, so obviously, it's the perfect song for the whole family. And finally, we got Drunken Hot Girls and Television because both of these songs are absolute dog shit. Yeah.